What's up dude and dudettes, welcome to the mullet review and today we're going to review the reef stocked. I watched it early. <laughs> First off, this review does have some spoilers so if you aren't into that I'd swim the other directions bros. This was a pretty good shark movie, uh, I'd give it like a 6 out of 10 fins, so not the greatest, not the worst, pretty decent. Uh, the thing about the Reef movies I like is that they actually use real footage of sharks. Uh, they have maybe one scene where the shark looked pretty fake, but it was just like a shadow. It lasted like three seconds, no big deal. Other than that, the shark looked completely real, because again, they use real footage. I don't want to tell you every single detail about the movie, because I want to leave room for you guys to be surprised. But there will be spoilers, and I'm going to go through them. So basically, we start off with the main character, Nick. And when I first seen Nick, I was like... I've been waiting for a girl like you to come into my life. I've been waiting for a girl like you. <laughs> Something tragic happens to Nick that leaves her traumatized by water. So she does the next best thing nine months later. She goes kayaking slash spearfishing slash snorkeling in uh, the Australian Ocean. Uh, so that made sense. Anyways, um, I have to say that the first 40-ish minutes really kept me on the edge of the, my seat. Uh, after that, it was just kind of repetitive, uh, which isn't bad. But I just thought that they did a lot of staring in a dangerous situation. Like, there were scenes in the movie where they seen the shark, and they just sat there, like, for five, ten minutes, and, and didn't paddle towards the shore. Uh, kind of did nothing, except watch the shark. Anyways, on Nick's little vacation, her sister sees a shark in the water, and it knocks her off her canoe. Or kayak. Yeah, kayak. Anyways, uh, one of Nick's friends tries to help her, but she gets knocked off. And then the shark gets her. Nick and her other friend see what's happening and circles back in the canoes. Sees that the friend is not going to return. And they get the sister back on the canoe. After they get the sister to safety... They swim to the nearest little island that they see. But what they also see is two little children playing on like this floating dock like 10 feet from the shore. Anyways, they're jumping, they're playing. Uh, one of the kids goes to swim back because he's done playing. Uh, but the little girl, she keeps on swimming. Then the great white smashes the little... Uh, wooden dock thing that she's playing on and bites her. Luckily the shark lets her go and she swims to safety. Okay. Uh, so the parents are there. They're like, oh my gosh. The kayakers are there. So is Nick and the sister. And she's like, do you guys have cell phone service? And they're like, no. They're like, is anybody else on the island? They say, no. And they're like, do you guys have a big boat or something? They're like, no, but we do have a small boat with a small motor. So they're like, uh, okay, well, we got to do what we got to do. And honestly, I was thinking, like, if they just brought David Hasselhoff with them, none of this would have happened. He would have jumped in the water. The shark would have seen his David Hasselhoff and he would have went the other way. But if that happened, then there wouldn't be no movie, so I guess that makes sense. <laughs> so they tie their two canoes on each side of that small boat, and they head for the next island over, which has phone reception. So they're going, uh, you know, it has a little motor, uh, and then the motor stops, and then the shark appears. Okay? Uh, the shark kind of like lunges at him and whatnot, uh, just kind of plays with him. So Nick has an idea. She's like, hey, 
Let's drown the shark by tying a rope to the canoe, and then when the shark drags down the canoe, it will fill with water, and then it can't swim up. So they tried that, but it doesn't work. So, they do something else. They grab a fishnet, throw it in the water, and catches the shark in the net. But, it drags down Nick's little sister with her. So Nick dives in with a machete, swims up and stabs the shark right in the gill belly. Yeah. The shark dies, they get back on the boat, and then they row to safety. So a short amount of time has passed and they're back on the original island that they started on. All of a sudden they get a FaceTime call from the little girl that was attacked by a shark and she's totally fine. She's like, check out these scars, they call me shark girl now. Literally, she says that. Anyways, uh, then they lose connection. They were just saying, hey, the little girl's fine. She did get rescued. Then they do like a little ceremony on the beach and then it cuts to credits. All in all, I'd say it was a pretty cool movie. Uh, a fun summer movie, you know. Every summer needs a shark movie. And this one did a pretty good job. Um, so, if you like this video, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and there will be more videos. Thanks for watching, everybody. God bless, and see you later, bros and brodettes. Or dude and dudettes.